I came home, my wife had told me the storm was not looking good. I looked at the news. I realized we had to leave. When we had evacuated and we ended up at a pastor's house in Baton Rouge, and we watched a news clip and we saw the roof line of our house. And uh, the house was covered in water. We knew that the city had been devastated. After the hurricane, total destruction right where we're standing here. Total destruction, just piles and piles of, there were boats from the harbor over there that were sitting up here. Around September 15th, I finally got to my house. It was unbearable in terms of smell and I guess the water had been standing for a couple of weeks. And we finally realized that our home was gone. But you know, um, we heard of a family with four children who had passed away in the storm in our neighborhood. And I remember that in the midst of all of the tears and the loss, just not knowing what, what was coming in terms of recovery, we were so grateful. I, I think that it was God who moved us in haste uh, to, to leave when we should have. The body of Christ was here and in action before the National Guard. We had hundreds of people that came down, filled up the whole church full of food. They helped to rebuild the community and, and get us going once again. The restoration was an act of love. And I think that carries on today. That's the story of Katrina for us. I mean, the devastation was so brutal. I want to forget that. But the love, the outpouring of love was so great. I never want to forget that. The Calvary chapels all across America came down with blood, sweat, and tears, planting seeds of hope, seeds of life here. And today, you ought to see what God is doing here. The harvest is plentiful. People are getting saved, giving their lives to Jesus. I'm just blown away by what God is doing as He's reaching people for His kingdom. The best thing we can do in the midst of uh, 10 years later is keep teaching the Bible and to see people come to a, a deep relationship with Christ Jesus. That's what makes a healthy church. The heartfelt thanks could never be stated enough for all the teams that came to help us.